on today's episode. This Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, has a broken digitizer. Uh, we can see that the digitizer works, but the, uh, the screen is uh, not exactly attractive. So I've got a new one to, to, uh, to replace it with, and I'm just going to take you through how I'm going to do that. And just offering the, the new screen up there, we can see that there's a connector in this location here, so we have to pay attention to that and also the, the camera and such like at the, at the top there. So the, the way I'm going to go is to first cover the screen with some uh, just some ordinary uh, packing tape, clear packing tape, so that none of those tiny shards of, of glass hopefully uh, find their way where they shouldn't go. Um, to get to that point, uh, if there's an SD card in, we need to take that out and there are just some clips um, which you need to, to remove to get the back cover off. It's not, uh, not particularly difficult. This is usually my weapon of choice for that sort of job, an old uh, utility knife blade, so that's quite, quite, quite blunt. So inside, um, just as a precaution, I'm going to remove the, the battery and the connection here just um, simply clips out of the way. Uh, but because we're going to be heating this up to remove the screen, um, heat and lithium batteries, in my view, do not uh, not live well together. So I'm just going to remove all of those screws and take the battery out. The other thing I'm going to do is there's two um, loudspeakers down the bottom here. Now they're uh, look like uh, plastic to me, so again, just to avoid any damage, I'm going to remove those. The actual connectors, just get a fingernail or something underneath there, and uh, that should lift away. As we saw, this connection here is for the, uh, the digitizer itself, so we'll just unclip that. And I'll put the packing tape on the on the on the broken screen and then we can go to the next part. At this point with the tape in place, um, I would normally use my heat gun to, to heat the surface up. But I'm going to try a new technique uh, today. Uh, I have a 3D printer which has a heated bed. So my idea is to put this on, on the bed heated up to say 75 degrees and give, that will give a much more even uh, even heat to the thing and we'll see if that helps in in removing the screen. Uh, this is not some sort of Michael Jackson or Al Jolson tribute it's just that this is now quite warm and uh, notice here there are places where you can actually push on the digitizer so I can maybe start it off pushing on these parts here. And with that up, this is just uh, like a, a spudger tool for normally for working clay or such like. So the idea now is to, to move along and uh, separate the screen from the adhesive. Clear the adhesive wants to uh, to stick back down, so it's useful to have little bits of uh, maybe credit card or something to to jam in there and stop it sticking. And clearly, you won't want to go too far under here. You don't want to be in danger of uh, slipping and damaging the actual LCD. Just remembering that this is the side where we have the the connection, obviously. We're going to be uh, removing that anyway. But. So I would say that the uh, the 3D printer heating idea has uh, has worked out quite well. It's coming away uh, reasonably easily once we've got it started. Again, taking extra care at the top here where the speaker is. Oh, the microphone rather. So 
So there we are. Having removed the old screen and most of the, the black tape that, uh, that sticks it down, now I'm just going around and uh, removing any shards of glass that may have escaped. So we'll see if there are any pieces of glass left stuck, then uh, it's going to stop the, the new screen sticking properly. And also here, I managed to, to mark the LCD with uh, when taking some of the tape off. So my solvent of choice, both for the adhesive here and for cleaning the screen, is uh, isopropanol. So I'll just remove those marks carefully with a cotton swab. Those who have watched uh, others of my videos uh, in this type of work, We've seen that I'm very keen on the on the Zeiss uh, lens cloths, but they are a tad expensive. So I found in my local Lidl's these uh, screen wipes, so I'm going to try one of those this time. Similarly, they are impregnated with something. I guess it's uh, isopropanol again. So I'll just make sure that the screen is completely clean now. That's drying with no residue, so that's good. That will do. We don't want to over egg it, and this won't be wasted. I'll be cleaning my monitor with it. Another useful tool is a microfiber cloth. So I've removed, I can't even see where it was now, the, uh, the mark from the, from the glue there. And uh, I can't see any blemishes on the screen at all now. And I think we're good to uh, good to go to the next step. Um, what I like to do is before removing any of the protective film is just to to try the screen out um, because we don't want to get the thing stuck down and then find that it, uh, it doesn't work for some reason. So that's all working okay. So I've done my final checks around the outside and uh, just before we'll put the screen on, final pass with the puffer brush. Don't want to seal any bits of dust in there. And now that we've checked that the screen is good, we can remove the protective film from the new adhesive. And now, of course, it's just a question of replacing the speakers and, and the battery, and then we can do the final test. So it's all reassembled now, clipped the back back on. All that remains is to remove the protective film from the front and do the final check. Another result.